Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is uh, kind of an interesting one. Um, I went out uh, flying after work today with my Inspire 1 and uh, I spotted some deer along the way so it turned out to be a pretty cool video. Um, this is actually my first ever flight vlog video that's not part of uh, a challenge or um, you know, a playlist or anything like that. This is just me making a video for the fun of it. So, um, I had a lot of fun with the challenge, though. I hope we get some more things like that going that gives us a reason to go out and fly. So, um, but so right now I started panning down a little bit because I was coming up this field, which is right behind the park, and I've always kind of wanted to look at this little aqueduct thing going on here. I'm not really sure what it is, if it's part of irrigation or whatever um, is going on there. So, I started dropping down the Inspire. And uh, I couldn't see a darn thing as far as uh, anything moving on the ground quite yet. But as I started to come in here, I looked and I was like, God, that almost looks like some deer in the field. And I thought, no, there's no way I got that lucky because that was a big, you know, it's a pretty big field. And I landed right on them. But sure enough, there they are. There's three deer. And, uh, you know, deer are obviously pretty skittish animals. So at this point, they're probably thinking, you know, what the hell is that noise? You know, I hear something. I can't see anything, you know, their little ears are going around looking back and forth, but um, <laughs> you can see their head moving a little bit, they're trying to figure out what the hell is happening, but um, so anyway, um, I figured I'd drop down a little bit further, try and get, get in a little closer. I wanted to get some decent shots of them without, uh, you know, completely terrifying them, you know, I, I know there's obviously regulations that we should all follow, and one of them, of course, is not to be, like, harassing wildlife, so... Um, I was doing my best to get close and to get some good shots here without feeling like I was, um, you know, being rude to the animals, so to speak. But um, I think they're just fine. They're just, uh, you know, more curiosity, if anything. Like, at this point, they're, they're looking at it. The one saw it, and he went, holy crap, I'm getting out of here. And then the other one thought, well, I better just follow him because, uh, you know, that's what they usually do. I guess that's why when you're going down the interstate and you see two or three of these deer hitting the road, that might be why, but... They started taking off down the field, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of reminded me of one of these little nature shows, you know, when you're seeing them trail behind with a helicopter or something like that. But um, I considered after this just taking off and heading back to the park, but I was like, well, let's just see, you know, let's see where they go. Um, so I'm sure it was just the, the noise and, you know, that, that frightened them. They were taking off trying to figure out, you know, make sense of what was going on, I guess. But. Um, so it seemed that, you know, the, the noise, I don't think they really knew what to do with. It was more looking at this thing flying. It probably looks to them like a like a giant eagle or something like that. So I thought if I come back in and kind of drop down over the top of them that I might be able to get in a little bit closer. I was actually really kind of hoping that I could get down to almost their level looking at them and just see, you know, uh, getting kind of close that way without, um, you know, being close enough that either of us would hit each other at some point. I wouldn't want that to happen, obviously, but, um, so I picked this lucky one here to drop down a little bit, but I think they're starting to get smart right now. They figured, you know, I don't know what's going on, man, but I'm getting out of here, so this little guy took off and, and hopped. You know, it's amazing how far these things can jump, too. Um, my dad, when I was younger, he, he told me a story that he was, uh, uh, going down the highway and he saw a deer jump and it went from one side of the road all the way up over and actually over the top of a car when it happened. And he said when uh, he told his parents this, they didn't believe him. They thought, no, that's not possible. There's no way. But it happens. They, they, they can jump pretty far. But um, Yeah, I, I do fly over this location quite a bit. And I've always I've seen some deer uh, in this area but from the road. And I, I kept thinking, man, it would be really cool to see uh, some deer out in this location and get, get a shot of them. But... I've never been lucky enough to, to see one from the air, let alone drop right down on top of one, so I really got lucky on that one. But what's kind of neat here, if you see where the deer are at, um, pay attention to where they're walking. Um, right about now you can probably start to see some of the trails that are um, you know, to the left and right of this little ch the water channel going through here, and that's just all the little uh, walking paths that they uh, generate over time, so they're... Um, you know, it's really neat. You can actually see where they've been and, and where they go and where they travel to. So, you know, maybe next time on the next video, I'll, I'll pay more attention to, to these trails and see if maybe I can back up and, and follow them, 
down the you know the forest and see uh, if I can find them that way. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Um, there actually was a fourth deer in this video. Um, when I'm recording this narration here, I couldn't quite see it, but I know it was off to the left-hand side there somewhere. But there may have been more that were in this area that I just didn't uh, get a chance to see, and I might have spooked them before uh, I got up to them. But. So yeah, this is where I was flying from, just right outside the park. I was pretty close, you know, it was nice and calm and quiet, so, you know, I always take into account being able to listen for uh, airplanes and stuff like that. You know, I don't want to cause a problem, even though I respect the FAA rights as far as uh, altitude and stuff goes, but um, it was just right in my backyard, basically. So I um, thought it was pretty cool and it was worth sharing, so that's going to be it for this time, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.